Hi everyone, this is Maggie from Esri Canada's technology adoption team, here again to help you as you get started working with ArcGIS Pro 3.0. Today I'll be going over a common issue you may run into when working with Pro projects containing Microsoft Excel files, and we'll help you to get those projects working again. After updating to ArcGIS Pro 3.0 from a previous version of the software, you should have no issue opening and working with your projects you made at previous versions of Pro. However, in some cases, you may find that your projects are not opening as expected. You can see an example of this by looking at a project I made in ArcGIS Pro 2.0 and opening that up in ArcGIS Pro 3.0. You can see right away that the project is not opening, but it's stuck on this loading page and none of the content is appearing in the application. I let this project load for five minutes, and as you can see, the map still hasn't loaded. There's something going on here. It's not just being slow. I could wait forever with my machine set up the way it is now, and the project will never load in ArcGIS Pro 3.0. This is all because my existing project contains an Excel file. In ArcGIS Pro 3.0, the requirements for working with Microsoft Excel files has changed, and you will likely need to install a new driver to work with them in your Pro projects. You can see in the ArcGIS Pro 3.0 documentation, which I have linked below for your reference, that in order to use Excel files, you will need to have the Microsoft Access Database Engine 2016 redistributable 64-bit driver to work with Excel files. This is the same that you would have had previously. However, if you have the 32-bit version of the same driver installed on your machine to work with other software, you also need to install the 32-bit.NET 6 Desktop Runtime Windows 86 installer. Let's go ahead and download these files so we can get them installed on the machine. We'll start with this .NET 6 runtime file. And all right, that's fully installed on the machine. We can then get the Microsoft Access files from the Microsoft website. Both of these links will be included in the description of this video so you can get them for yourself. On my machine, I'm going to install uh, both of the versions of this because I use Microsoft files in ArcMap and ArcGIS Pro. So get them both downloaded onto my machine. If you're also going to have both of these files on your machine, you need to know that one of the two of them at least will need to be installed silently using the command prompt. So let's take a look at how you can do that on your machine. We'll get started by opening up the command prompt. And once this is opened, we're going to go ahead and change our Active Directory to the location where those files were downloaded. Now that the directory has changed, we can go ahead and silently install one of our two files using the quiet command. As soon as that command is run, the installation will begin. And once it's complete, you'll be returned to your command prompt where you can run the same quiet command on the other file you downloaded. Both of these files are now on your machine, so you can go ahead and open up that ArcGIS Pro project again and take a look at the difference here. In only a few seconds, the project opens in ArcGIS Pro and the map and table of contents load without an issue. If we take a look at this table here, we can see that the source of this file is an XLSX file, so a Microsoft Excel file, and this is the reason that we weren't able to open this project previously. ArcGIS Pro didn't have the required files in there. ArcGIS Pro didn't have the required files installed to be able to read Microsoft content. If you have any problems completing this workflow yourself, please don't hesitate to contact Esri Canada's technical support. That team would be happy to help you install all of the files that you need to help you troubleshoot any unexpected behavior you may encounter on the way. Hopefully this video will help you get started with your transition over to ArcGIS Pro. Thank you for watching and happy mapping.